Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Tiffany and I am a self-employed illustrator and a small business owner. And I'm really excited for today because the topic that we're covering is something that I'm really, really passionate about, which is organizing, planning, and scheduling using Notion. Uh, I'm actually partnering up with Notion today to show you how I organize my small business and my life. So I am actually really, really stoked about this because I've been using Notion for the past half a year. I used to use this physical planner and I just didn't vibe with it anymore after a while. Like it's, it looks like this. I would literally plan out my day to day on this weekly spread and as much as I love putting stickers on everything and making it look cute, it just wasn't efficient enough for me. I always found myself like crossing things out or like having to move things from Monday to Tuesday, but I'd have to literally cross the whole thing out with like a black pen and then like rewrite it on the next day. And what I was really looking for in a planning app was like the ease of use. I don't want to be thinking about it too hard in order to use it. Like something I can compare this to would be like Photoshop versus Procreate. So in Photoshop, there are really powerful tools inside of it. I feel like I don't need all of those tools and Procreate is just kind of like so easy. The shortcuts are so intuitive that it just feels natural. Essentially, Notion to me feels like that. Like at first, it seemed very scary, but if you just learn a few of the basic tools, it's actually not that hard and I really enjoy using it. I also really like how you're able to access it on a lot of different devices and even on a web browser. So like even if you're on the go, you can access your to-do list, your checklist and everything through your phone, your iPad, or you can like log in through their website if you forgot your phone somewhere and you can access it that way too. I also like how Notion caters to a lot of different types of users. If you're on a scale of not organizing at all and being a heavy organizer, I would place Ali Abdal here because he's like insanely intricate with his organizing um, and he's very productive but I would stand in the middle because I feel like I don't want to over plan my life sometimes it can get in the way of actually living the life and actually doing the things you want to do I don't know it just feels very overwhelming and suffocating to always have everything planned out to the T but I know that if you want to get very intricate there's always a way of doing that but yeah, let's let's just jump into it. Let me show you my notion and hopefully you get some inspiration from it. Okay, so let's begin. This is my notion and I I try to customize it and make it as cute as possible so that I'm really excited for work all the time. Let's start out with the sidebar. So the sidebar has my favorite section and my work dashboard and my personal dashboard. I try to keep it really simple because I don't want it to get too complicated where I can't find anything. But in my favorite section, that's the section where I put all the things that I use on a daily basis, things that I want to access really fast. If you want to add something to your favorites, up here there is a favorites button and you just press that and it shows up on the sidebar. So let's first go through the work dashboard. I've seen a lot of people with work dashboards that are really, really complicated and really pretty, but I just keep mine very simple because I don't really use this page too often. Um, I just have buttons linked to my calendar, monthly to do, weekly to do, and notes. This is my calendar for the month. And I really like the Notion calendars because you can either keep everything together with work and personal, you just change the tags. But I personally like having my calendar separate. It's just easier for me and I just love having that option. So in my work calendar, I have different tags. So once you click into an event, or if you make an event, let me just make one right here. I can label it whatever the event is, right? And then I can set the date and I can also set the time. You can also go into tags and click on it. And I just have these tags that I use very often, but you can always make new tags like that. And it'll just be under a whole nother category, which is really fun. And once you click out, it's color coded it's neat, it's clean, it's beautiful. You can go to search and then search for a tag. So for example, if I'm looking at just things I have to do for Patreon, I just search Patreon and I can just 
simplify the calendar to only look at those tags or if I want to do YouTube collab there and that's what I like about the calendar because it's very easy to use and up here you can click that and you can actually add different views for your calendar so they recently added this new feature called the timeline view and I really like this I've seen a few people use it in the past but I've never used it for myself but essentially you can change your calendar into this format where it separates it into individual days and you can see like on what day like what are you doing on that day next i want to go to my monthly to do's i don't really use this feature too often but i do use it when i want to organize my thoughts and my goals for a single month instead of like my weekly goals i made one for march and this is what it looks like I just added like this little saying at the top and it just says you worked insanely hard last month try to take a slower month love yourself uh, which I, I like adding little like notes to myself like that it just motivates me and makes me happy this section is really interesting because you can create like these different little modules like this and within the little module, you can open it up and it makes a new page. You can type to do like that. And then you can actually turn it into a to-do list. And what's cool about that is it shows up on the outside. So you have to see like what you can do. And also like, for example, if you check off some things you're done halfway with you can move this over to in progress so that you know that it's in the works and once you complete everything in your checklist you can just move it to complete the next section is a section that i use really often and it's my weekly to do this is just the dashboard for the weekly to do list i have my 2020 and my 2021 separated out Right now I'm in March, so I'm going to click March. And what I really love about this page is that I've set up this button right here that says add a new weekly to do. And it essentially generates a new template that I've designed. So every time I need to start a new week, all I have to do is press this button. And yeah, this is my template. I just have a quote at the top. I have a button leading to my habit tracker, a button leading to my calendar, and a button leading to my personal calendar at the top because those are the things that I access a lot. My weekly planner is really inspired by Furry Little Peaches. She has a priorities list, a brain dump list, a Monday through Friday section, and she has a unfinished list. So what I like to do is at the top priorities, this is essentially like the overall like big picture of what I have to complete in a week. And under that in brain dump, I usually put like a dissected version of my priorities inside of it. So it would be like for Etsy, for example, it would be I want to design new merch or pack orders or restock packaging materials right and then that just kind of breaks it down and my brain dump is in that section and then from there i like to duplicate it and i can just drag these under like my monday through friday list and it's just very easy to keep track of like exactly what I need to do on what day in order to get things done. Okay, and then once you do that, every time you check off something from your list, you can just select them. And I like to put it under this finish tab right here, where when you open it, it kind of like opens all the things that you've checked off. So it just keeps your workspace a little bit cleaner and easier to read like the things you have to do. To make this little toggle, you can just press enter and then for all the commands, you just do the slash. You can write toggle and then create a toggle and you can label it. And then there you have a toggle. Down here, I have a habit tracker, which is really good for 
my working out. I have a learning section in case I want to learn something or read a new book. I'll just write it here. On the top right, I have a notes section. And this is kind of where I just keep all of my notes. Uh, whether it's for client work that I'm currently working on and I need to note like the deliverables I have for a specific YouTube video. Also under notes, I have this thing called out of ideas where if I'm out of ideas, I have these buttons or links that take me to my notes page of ideas that I've accumulated over time and I just kind of dump it there. So it just links me to my page of ideas. And if I ever run out of time to finish a to-do on my Monday through Friday, I just drag it to unfinished. And what I do then is I copy and paste it to a new week and I try to finish it that week. Okay, let me teach you now how to make a template. So you just want to start a new row and write a slash and write template. Press enter and it creates this whole thingamabob. You can drag this into your template like so and then close that click on it and it will help you generate a new template of whatever you put inside of it if you want to see what my current week looks like i'll show you so this is my current week um it's only tuesday so i still have a lot to do this is the first thing i have to do on my tuesday and it's already 12 so i'm a little bit behind but you know what? It's fine. We're, we're vibing. Also, what I like about this is I've converted some of my friends into using Notion. And uh, one friend that I'm working with on this card game is also using Notion now. I like how I can just link his page on my Notion and I can also open it up in my own app. Next section is my notes section and this is essentially everything that my brain is throwing up, but like organized. So I'm always constantly writing notes in my phone and on the go. I haven't given too much thought to it. It's very basic, it's very standard. For Etsy, I put a lot of like where I source my products or like where I source my packaging, the sizes of my packaging, how much like an envelope costs per piece, just so I know like how much I'm spending per shipment. I also keep track of things like how much I purchase every month for Patreon um, because I do increase it like a little bit every month to cater to all our new Patreon friends. Also, if you're wondering, these little icons that I made up at the top, all you have to do to change the icon is click on it and you can either upload an image, you would want it to be a transparent PNG, which means the background is transparent and you save the file as a PNG. And it should be a square format for Notion so that it doesn't have an awkward crop. But you can also choose from like the emojis. You can link something. So I do know that people link moving GIFs for the icons and it moves up here and also on the sidebar, which is really cool. And for the cover, you just hover over it. It's kind of like Facebook, YouTube, you know, you just press the change cover. You can upload, link, you know, choose from their presets already. Now moving on to my personal dashboard. I use this for all things personal. I don't typically use Notion for journaling just because I still do like using journaling with a pen and paper, like a really traditional way of journaling. It just feels a lot more intimate and uh, personal that way, but I do use Notion for my calendars and habit tracking, like my productive aspect of my personal life. This section is like for all things outside of work because we're all about that work-life balance. Remember that not everything is about hustling and making money. Take care of yourself. My personal calendar is pretty barren, so things like paying off my credit card or my first therapy appointment or a dentist appointment that's next week where I have to pull my tooth out. Gotta love that. Next section is my habit tracker, which honestly, I don't use too often. But just in case you wanna see what it looks like, at the bottom, you can see how many you checked off every single day and it just kind of tallies it up for you and it's really convenient. Um, I still need to remind myself to shower every day. 
and wash my dishes. Next is my self-learning section. He's a little mountain because you gotta hike up that mountain and learn. So I've broken the section down into books to read, classes to take, and podcasts that I want to listen to. I really should use this section more. I've increasingly found it harder to sit down and read a book because I just feel like I'm juggling so much every day, but I do want to start incorporating that back into my life. And yeah, that is essentially everything I know about Notion and how I use it to run my small business and keep track of things. And I hope you learned something from it. Thank you again, Notion, for sponsoring this video and being my partner because I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Have fun playing with Notion. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Later, skater. Mm -hmm.